to the same uh you were you and I went to uh I... hello uh, we we went hey can you just kind of shut her down shut her down for us hey you and I you and I went to the same oh. high school you went to my high school, didn't you? Huh? At Ridge Valley High. And we, yeah, we were, in the, we were in the same grade. You remember me? Maybe I... You're, you're, uh, you're, you're Bill, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you just start working here, or I haven't seen you around? I've been here eight years. That's it. Wow. Yeah, well, I guess yeah, I'm never usually here this this late, so I didn't. Uh... <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh, wow, Ridge Valley High. Yeah. Well, I, hey, great to see you. I'll I'll see you around. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hey, it's Gary. Gary? Wow. Hey. I... <laughs> wow. How long is... I haven't talked to you... What has it been, like four years? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Wow. Well, hey, um... <laughs> come on! Come on, come on! Come on. Go, 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 go! Oh, come on! Come on, do you believe that? Come on, guys. He had that. He was wide open. Ever since he hurt his shoulder, his throws have been so off. It's mid-season. Mid-season, he's still. Hey. You all right? Yeah, what? I don't know. You, you seem a little out of it. No, I know. I'm just, uh... <clears throat> tired a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Long week and uh Well, I'm gonna get going. Oh, whoa, hey. We just got here. I haven't seen you in four years. Come on. Come on, have one more. Alright. You know, what's been going on? How, how's work? Works uh works good. Kind of a funny thing I ran into a uh, guy we went to school with, uh Bill, remember Bill? This sort of a quiet guy kept to himself, uh, Bill. Uh, we we picked on him all the time. Yeah? Yeah. Well, get this, he's a he's a janitor at the place I work. He's a night janitor. Serious? Yeah. And he's exactly the same guy. He's a, he, he hasn't changed at all since uh, since high school. He kind of almost <laughs> himself stares at the ground. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. Wow. Bill. Hey, 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 how's Karen, by the way? Karen, yeah, she's, uh... Yeah, she's Karen. She's... Um... Yeah. Hey, whatever happened? What do you mean? You know, we, we used to see each other every weekend, almost. Come to the house, 
sitting in the back, hanging out. Will and his friends be there, we'd be barbecuing. Hey. This weekend, you come to my house, we get some steaks, and we fire up that old barbecue. It'd be like old times. Uh, you want another? Sure. Yeah, have one. I'll do one more. You've got the wrong number. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. Hello? Is Dave there? No, you've got the wrong number. Oh, is this? Yeah, they did. Well, did... You sound weird. I do. Yeah, it doesn't sound like you. I think you have the wrong number.
Hey. How was your day? Fine. Uh, something wrong? Why? Oh, I don't know. You just, uh, you seem, uh, I don't know. Everything is perfectly fine. Anybody can do whatever they want to do around here, right? Well, there, there's no one else here, Karen. Well, that's right. I mean, and you don't, you don't. I know what. What? What? I'm what? not doing this. No, come on, what? I don't want. I'm keeping my mouth shut. You just, you just do whatever it is you, you want to do. Why don't, why don't you just go ahead, walk out of the room like you always it's do, like you normally do. Fault. Just walk right out. Everything is my fault. It is an insult to the cook put too much barbecue sauce on your food. See, the, the psychology behind it is the food isn't good enough on its own, so you gotta cover it with a whole bunch of mess to get a good flavor. But not this. I did not know that. Looks like you're cooking up a storm. Hey, yeah, I would have had one on here for you if I knew you were there. Maybe next time. You bet. Take care. She likes you. She's very friendly. She's friendly to you, not to me. Well, that's because I know her. Is she married? I don't think so. You should ask her out. Well, I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> Have you been on a date in the last four years? Uh, not really. So, The last time I remember you going on a date then would be before, um, before the accident. Started driving again or? I don't have a car. Mom? Do you have a phone? What? I need to call my mom. Uh, no, sorry. Do you know if they have one downstairs? Sorry. <sighs> hey, Eric. Why, Mr. Curtis? Something wrong. I can't get inside. Knock yourself out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I can do it. Mm -hmm. Come here. I'll show you a little trick. I had to do this myself a couple of times. Knock myself out. Yeah. Get your credit card and slip it in. Wiggle it around. There you go. Thanks, Mr. Curtis. No problem. Tell your mom and dad I said hi. Okay. Tell your mom and dad I said hi. Tell your mom and dad I said hi. So you were licensed in the state of Delaware, right? 
So how can the government say it was wrong for you to practice architecture? I initiated business before I had the physical license document. I passed the test, but uh, apparently that doesn't matter. And you can get fined for that? You can go to jail for that. This is pretty serious, okay? You know, I mean, uh, even if I don't uh, go to jail, I'll probably lose my job, and I don't think the company's going to protect me, so... Sounds like a Kafka novel. It's crazy. <laughs> hey there, Bill. How's everything going? Hey, uh... You you work here uh, you work here all night or? Yeah. Yeah. Every day, huh? Yeah. Just uh, Sunday to Friday. Man, I I don't know I don't know how you do it. I mean I I don't think I could do that. Stay up all night and everything. You get used to it. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's just like you know anything else, huh? No. What does that do for uh, you know? You know, with your wife, I mean, you know, it seems like everybody just... Bill, you all right? Bill! Yeah. Uh, I just have to... Are you something wrong? Did I... Um... Okay. If you... Hey, listen, if I said something to upset you or something, I just, oh, you know... Gotta get... Yes. You have a good weekend, all right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You come home, nag, nag, nag. No, they work, but I got a place with this. What kind of fun are you? Look at you. When I go, sky of blue, pale breeze, as if God knew what it is. His graceless thought, a silent prayer, an open room, a melody that I renew with who I am and who I was. Then. I am true as I am born and you are all I With the girls of faith. Are you okay? Did you say something? Are you okay? Your eye looks bruised. No, I'm fine. I, I heard you guys fighting before. Oh, that's nothing. Uh, I'm sorry for being too loud. No. No, it's fine. Yeah, because you're so quiet and I hardly ever see you coming or going. I didn't even know you exist. Thank you. Well, it was nice meeting you. Thank you. To a man going up suddenly. Who did it? Is touched by a ray of happiness. Can you guess? There's no way out but to climb. Halfway in the other half is left to right in the sun. I am true as I am born in you, and you are all I am love, and we are more than enough. Yes, we are more. We are more than enough. The average person sleeps for 20 years over the course of a lifetime. Six of those years are spent dreaming. The scientific term for being aware that you are dreaming is lucid dreaming. Once you become lucid, it is possible to actively control your dreams. Some people can naturally do this. For others, it must be learned. <laughs> Small windows of time exist during the ritual of sleep when it is possible to begin lucid dreaming. But it can become a door to another world where you have complete control. 
A world where your wildest fantasies can come true. Karen. Hello. Hey. I didn't know you were going to be here. Well, somebody has to get groceries. No, I know, but I, I didn't know where you'd gone. You didn't leave a, a note or... Can I look at what you got? Because you probably shouldn't be buying the same thing. Well, why don't you just eat what you get and I'll eat what I get. How about that? What, are you just going to follow me around the store all night? Yeah, I used to do it all the time we first started dating. What? Yeah, I used to, wherever we'd go, I'd, I'd walk behind you. You never noticed? No. Why would you do that? Well, I liked, uh, I liked how every single guy would be, you know, looking at you, every one that would go by, and, uh, you know, you, you were mine. Don't do that. to count I used to count each one that used to go by one there goes one there goes another one don't do there that goes, what do look around what? do you look around you see anybody looking at me do you do you see anybody looking at me yeah I know you used to do that and I know when you stopped doing it too yeah, when everybody on, else here. stopped here. doing come it on, that's when you stopped In order to lucid dream, you must first remember your dreams. It is necessary to start a journal, keeping a daily log of your dreams. You will start to recognize patterns and reoccurring characteristics. When dreaming, these characteristics can be used to help tell yourself that you are in fact dreaming. This will facilitate lucidity. Oh, 
forgot my clothes. I know. <laughs> 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 absolutely everything for $19.99. If you call right now, we'll throw in our bonus gift. We got copper condiment shakers. <laughs> Holy cow, it's a $50 value. Can you believe it? Call now, 1-800. Can I help you? Oh, yeah, I'm looking for, <clears throat> I'm looking for a sleeping aid, actually. Over here. <clears throat> They're all over here. <clears throat> OK. Which ones you looking for? <coughs> anything. Uh, just anything. Just something little, you know. I use these. I'll take a couple of these before you <clears throat> go to sleep. You're out like a coma patient. <clears throat> mm -hmm. You use these, huh? Yeah, from time to time. <clears throat> They're good because you don't get that sluggishness in the mornings. That's the problem with some of them. Sure, sure. You fall asleep and then you can't wake up. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, where are those? Um, <clears throat> let's go find those. I'm not sure if my my supervisor. I, oh, just I, I I can show them to you. But okay. I don't know if that would. Let's get some of those puppies. There's no no harm in looking. Replacing the shingles. Oh, replacing some shingles. Hey, when you're done up there, will you go to my house? I got to do the whole roof. Mm. Yeah. Hey, what do you think tonight? We go get a couple of drinks. Must be the tar. Must be the what? Yeah, I remember when I was a kid, I was helping my mom bring groceries to the car and. It was summer, and I remember the smell of the hot asphalt. I guess the, t the tar of the shingles reminds me of that. Want a store. Are you listening to me? I don't want to store credit. I want a refund. Sir, I, I don't know what else we can do for you. Okay, is your manager here? Can I talk to him or her? Well, I'm the store manager, sir. You're the manager. Great. Because uh, I have to tell you, you really don't know what you're doing. Well, I've been, I've been uh, here for seven years, sir. Seven years. Seven years. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. You've been here seven years. Great. Everyone just stand back. The big man's in charge. Things happen when he's around. Sir, would you like store credit or not? Just take them. OK? Come 
over here. Is anyone home? I'll be quiet. Come here, look at this. What is it? Uh. Hi, are you Bill? Yeah, I'm off supporter. If I could have a moment of your time, I'd like to ask you a couple questions. About, about what? If I could get you to come down to the station, then we could... Is, is this a, about my neighbors? I heard them fighting before. Is she okay? I'd just like to talk. We've had some complaints from some of your neighbors. Complaints from my neighbors? What, what do you mean? We just need to clear up a few things. Is she okay? I, I, did she tell you I talked to her? I Kill said, it. sir, okay? first things she first. She was okay. What did you do this afternoon? I was sleeping this afternoon. Most of the time I was sleeping. Why? You sleep during the day? I work at night. I'm a janitor. What did my neighbors say? I'm not getting into specifics here. My neighbors made complaints about it. Okay, sir, look, I don't know anything about you, but your record's clean. What are you talking So if we can just keep it that way. My record? What are you talking about? Look, don't bother the other tenants. I don't bother them. Don't harass anyone and don't threaten anyone. I don't hope. Wait. Did she think I was going to hurt her or something? Who? The woman who lives next door to me. You threatened a couple of children. That's why you're here. What are you talking about? They said you attacked him in the hallway and Wait. you chased after him with a bat. They broke into my apartment. A couple of 10-year-olds? Yeah. Broke into your apartment? Yes, they did. Did you leave the door unlocked? No, I, I, no. Then how'd they get inside? I don't know. I just brought you down here to talk, okay? I'm not saying one thing or another. You raped her. Her husband. Her husband raped her. So if I can get you to keep yourself out of trouble, okay, it'll save us both some I time. heard he, he beats her. Like, okay, so they live next door. Right. I heard, I right. heard him. Thank you very much. I heard her scream, okay. sir. I heard he raped her. So, are you listening to me? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go into your room and look at your stuff. I'll never do it again. It was wrong, and I'm sorry. Can I go now? Go to your room. Can I play Nintendo? No, no Nintendo for a month. But mom. Go now. I don't even know what to say. I'm so sorry. If I were you, I would have slammed the door in my face already, but 
Well, I brought you this. Oh, it's just, I don't know, I listened to it. You probably heard me playing the tape during the day. Thank you. And I would like to invite you over for dinner tomorrow night. I can't, I work at night. Okay, well, this weekend too, maybe if you're around, we'd love to have you over. I don't know. I don't think so, but I don't know. Okay, well, it's an open invitation. And again, I'm very sorry, but it was nice seeing you again. What's the matter with you? What? What's the matter with you? What do you mean, what's the matter with me? What's... What's the matter with you? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Do you know what your life is? You wake up. And then you go to work, and then you come home. And you just try really hard not to disturb anyone. It's like you don't exist. You know? It's, uh, it's really kind of, it's really kind of sad. What would you like me to do? I can't change what happened. It was seven years ago and it wasn't your fault she ran a light she went out of the intersection you know but you you just choose to uh, carry around this uh, guilt for something that you didn't even cause is that what you think is that you, th you think i'm afraid Oh, no, no, I think you're a shining example of someone who's dealt with their problems. <laughs> hey, you know why I sleep all the time? Uh, so that I don't have to deal with Karen or... So I don't need, I don't need you to come in here and lecture me, okay?
Ma'am, do you mind if I take a look in these bags? Why? Where are we going? To pick up your son. He gets home today for winter break, remember? You tell me. I don't know. Then why are you staying at work till 10 o'clock at night every night? Okay, um, I, I, I... Is anything ever gonna change? I mean, some things are different. It's really all the same. All right, listen to me. I'm not mad, okay? I'm not we'll mad. just go sleep on the couch. <sighs> because I just don't want to do this anymore. Not if it's going to be the same thing day in and day out. Listen. Karen, I avoid things, you know? I mean, I avoid, um... I... I avoid things, <laughs> you know? You know, when I, when, I, when I think that, um... I feel like you're upset about something, you know, I... But, I, you know, I, I'm not gonna pretend I know things when I don't. I'm just not gonna do that for the sake of, I mean, let's, I, look, I know things are gonna be different. Things are gonna be different, very different, okay? Nothing's gonna change. <sighs> and if I'm gonna be alone, I wanna live alone. What, what, what do you mean? I mean, I think it would be better if we live apart. I really do. So, so, so that's just it? I mean, I mean... It... I think we should go in. I can get one of them. No, no, I got them. Yeah. So how are you guys? Yeah. Yeah. It's 
Still looks the same. We're glad to have you home. Well, you going to bed already? I have to get up early. What for? You're going to bed. So, for Adam and Lindsay, sort of a company gift. Sorry. What? Hello, thanks for holding. You're not gonna sign it? No, thanks. Burnham and Taylor, this is Karen. Hey, it's me. Gary? Hey, listen, can, can you just tell me, uh, What's going on? She didn't want to sign it. Look, Gary, I'm at work. I can't talk about this here. I'm hanging up. No, 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 no. Burnham and Taylor, this is Karen. Look, look, all I was saying was that I think that we need. Gary, I'm in the middle of my lunch break. And I don't really feel like spending it talking to you about this, so I'm hanging up. message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. Karen, all right, listen to me. I screwed up, okay? And there's some things that, uh, you know, I regret. I, I think I've taken for granted, you know, that you would be there when I got home. I think that I took for granted all the times that you would act happy, you know, and try to get me out of uh, when I was in a bad mood or something. And I took it for, and I took for granted that, that, that you offered to spend your life uh, with me. And I think I prevented you, you know, uh, from, um, you know, doing certain things uh, um, you know, in your career, because I, I know how important it is to you, but, you know, you gave it up so you could be, you could be at home with our son. And, uh, you know, I know that prevented you from getting to where you wanted to be with work, but you never one single, com you know, one time complained about it. You know, you just quietly accepted it because you were willing to compromise for me, and I took it all for granted. And now I see you becoming this whole new person without me, and that's the thing that's just killing me, you know, because I want to I wanna be there, you know. I want to be there by your side. And I know that I have this kind of, I put on this, like, macho bravado, and I never talk about, you know, my feelings and stuff like that, but nothing makes sense anymore. Nothing makes sense without you because, I mean, look, I, you know, I, I know that I am, I'm, I don't think I'm anything more or less than I see in your eyes, and I, I'm sorry. I, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't there for you. And, you know, I, I'm sorry I went on all these different times about personal stuff at work. Uh, and, 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 you know, I'm sorry about that, you know. And, uh, you know, and I know it's selfish of me to, you know, say that I don't want to see you leave me. But uh, that's just it. I mean, I want to know about your day, Karen. I want to know about, you know, everything that's going on with you. I want to wake up with you next to me. I want to know about every last little minute detail of your life because I am interested. And I know that this one single phone call, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to, you know, fix everything. I, I understand that and everything. But if you could just understand that I am going to listen to you from now on. I'm going to listen to you about everything. And I'm going to change things. are going to be different. And, you know, you, you, you know, you don't have to call me back. I know I'm busy. I mean, you can call me back if you want. But we can also talk about this stuff, you know, at home and everything. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to. Okay. So uh, I love you. And, uh, you know, um, uh, I hope you have a good day. Uh, all right. Bye.
What time is it? Um, about 10.30. Oh. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. Uh. Ah. Mm. <clears throat> um, this, it was in the garbage. Yeah, I'm throwing it out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's my house. It's nice. Why do you, uh, act like such a freak, Bill? I guess, just, I don't know how to be around people. Well, I don't know, you know, because it seems like with you, it's all just a show. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't think this is who you really are. The way you act with me and other people and stuff, I think you just put on this facade when you go out in public, but, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, how are you gonna, Expect people to get to know you if you don't let them in. No. But, um... Eh, what do I know? Well... Yeah. No, you can have it if you'd like. Thanks. Hey. Hey. Listen, look at me. Why are you looking at me? What do you want? Why, why are you looking at me? Why, why, why are you looking at me? Look at me. Hello. Hello. Calling on behalf of the Giving Hand Foundation. We're a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping children in need of food, clothing, hygienic products, toys, and other items. There's going to be a collection truck on your street, and we were wondering if there are any items you wish to donate. Uh, Why can't you just admit it? Just admit I don't think so. We're a nonprofit organization, ma'am, so anything that we collect yeah, is directly into the me. hands of a child who's. Did life you say, ma'am? Excuse me? What? I'm not a woman. Oh, I apologize. I, I'm sorry. Can you hold a second? Well, there's a little friend. Else. Let's have this out right now. Ma'am, are you there? You little cramp. Hello? You little I'm sorry. You know what were you girl. saying? No, I I I I, I really don't on. think so. Sorry. I if you care to make a monetary donation, we also accept checks. Uh, uh, all the money we receive goes towards purchasing uh, items for the children. Right they have nothing, ma'am. Tell me what you yeah. No, I, I really don't come think so. I'm sorry, I've got to go. I I don't think so. I mean, I'm sure it does, but I have to go. Sorry. Can I just have your address? No, I, I have nothing. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm hanging up. I'm hanging up. Goodbye. There's nothing going on, I swear. Look at me. I don't believe I thought we weren't gonna do this anymore. Don't I thought even, you don't weren't even gonna pretend do this that. Anymore. Don't even stop it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Sadie, let's do it. Who's it? Who the? Come here. Don't even start. Come here. Do this right now. Sadie. Come here.
Is going good, yeah. <clears throat> is it uh, is it snowing up there? A little bit, yeah. Uh, what uh, what classes are you gonna take this semester? Um, same stuff, just more advanced classes. Oh, really? Oh, like what? Calculus 2, multivariable calculus. You're taking that? What, multivariable calculus? Yeah, you're taking that again, huh? No, why would I take it again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> why? Yeah. Larger and larger tracts of forest were clear cut to bring new land under cultivation. But without the trees, the island's topsoil soon eroded under torrential tropical rains. Aware of the impending disaster, Competition for the island's limited resources led to tensions between the clans. towards the land is to protect the people spiritually whenever you have conflict I'm going on you want to progress in what you're doing what you call upon the spirit you know like with your friend they started with small statues but they got what are you guys fighting about and then they shifted from ancestor worship to competitive what do you mean worship even as the last few trees were being cut down <laughs> bigger and bigger moai were being constructed I'm not an idiot, okay? I know you guys are mad about something. Or at least mom is. 
No, no, come on. We're not, we're not fighting about anything. Everything's fine, really. Yeah, hey, come on. I'm going over to Ralph's. What? You're going out? You want me to leave the TV on? Uh, yeah, sure. On August 16, 1960, Joe Kittinger did something no man had done before. As a part of a U.S. Air Force-sponsored experiment, he rode a helium balloon up 102,800 feet into the air. The atmosphere became thinner and thinner outside his protective suit, and the sky turned black as he rode up to the end of the Earth's atmosphere. He stepped up onto the edge of the carriage in which he was riding. He looked out on the earth so far below him, and then he jumped. Scissors cut the faithless wish from hearts built sorrow. Kissing out this one last scene to kill up to my. Give me your wallet. What? Your wallet! Give it to me! What, are you, death? No. Then hand it over!
picking up Gary's stuff. <clears throat> Do you remember me? Yeah. I'm sorry. For what? For the way I was. Picking on you and making fun of you and... I'm sorry I acted like that. Yeah. A few things I could have done differently. It was a long time ago. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, good to see you. Seeing you, yeah. Can I ask you something? What's he like? I mean, like... What kind of person was he before he got married? Like... Back in high school when you knew him? Um, uh, I can't imagine him, you know, like, without my mom. He didn't judge people. He was, um, he was, he was smart, you know, smart, real smart. <clears throat> but he didn't, you know, show off about it. He was just a really pleasant person to be around. He was a good friend, too. It's been our top seller ever since Consumer Reports article ranked as one of the safest on the roads. I just bought one for my own daughter. You have a daughter? Yeah, just turned 17. Figure if they're going to be out on the roads, they might as well be in something safe, you know? I see all these parents buying their kids sports cars and whatnot, and I'm thinking, you know, you're just encouraging them to drive fast. For you. You got yourself a great car here. If I bought one for my own daughter, you know it's reliable. Thank you for putting it all together. Any problems, any concerns, you just give me a call. You have my number. Enjoy.
Hello? God, you scared me. I'm sorry. I didn't know anyone was here. Sorry. I start next week in the mailroom, but, but they said I could go ahead and get familiar with the place. I'll start learning the names of everyone who works here. I hate spending the holidays alone, so I figured this would take my mind off it. Do you think I could move in more stuff over the weekend? No. It's locked. <laughs> but I could let you in. Really? That would be great. How do I get a hold of you? I'm Patty. Bill. <laughs> to a man we're going up suddenly. Right. Whose life is touched by a ray of happiness. Can you guess there's no way out but to climb? Halfway I'm in Bill. the other half is left to ride in the sun. I am Bill. true. As I am born in you, and you are all I love, and we are more than enough. Yes, we are more than enough. We are more than enough. We are. More Hello? A sky of blue follows you. A sky of blue follows me. A sky of 